If you were to take the collective genius of the biggest names in music, film, and high technology and roll it up into a big ball, you would have, well, this. Meet Clayman. He is the first offspring of DreamWorks Interactive. DWI, as it's called, is the joint venture between Microsoft and DreamWorks SKG. Steven Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, David Geffen, and Bill Gates joined forces to produce interactive entertainment software. The significance is, you know, basically you've got these big names, and especially with Spielberg, uh, you have the, the talent pool that he brings with him. The Neverhood is DreamWorks Interactive's first release. While everyone else is using 3D graphics, special effects, weaponry, and blood and guts, DWI is using clay. Which casts real shadows, has real highlights, has real fingerprints on it, and real bounce lights, and kind of has more of a believable effect. Um, people keep saying that they believe that they're in the Neverhood when they play the game. They believe that they are claiming because the character he is real, just his movements are fake. Doug Tenable created the Neverhood. He used three and a half tons of clay to create a world of odd creatures, dark passageways, man-eating plants, and Clayman. Clayman, the unlikely hero who you, as the game player, help to defeat the evil foe and restore benevolence to the Neverhood. Steven Spielberg says he's thrilled with how the game turned out. The Neverhood is a wonderful adventure, but it's also a zany adventure. It's, 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 it's filled with humor and, and, and sight gags. It's, it's just great. If initial reviews of the Neverhood are any indication of how well the game will do, DWI's first release could blow away its competition. In Los Angeles, this is David Winter reporting. Mm-hmm. 